Rampant Design do an awful lot of fantastic transitions and overlays and all sorts of things. And I just wanted to show you very briefly how to use some of them inside of Fusion. Now on the rampantdesigntools.com website, you can actually obviously buy lots of things and see the sales and everything else. But if you go to the bottom, you can download some free samples to try out. So you can go to 4kfree.com, you can actually sign up there. You do have to give a valid email and you have to confirm that email address. But once that's done, you've got access to a whole load of stuff. Do bear in mind that sometimes it can download quite slowly, the free stuff. The paid for stuff will download very quickly, but uh, the free stuff can sometimes take a while to download, but it's worth doing. So how do we use these matte transitions and other transitions inside of Fusion? So here is Fusion, and I've got two pieces of footage, both from artbeats.com, so many thanks to them. And they're going into a merge node. So how do I use one of these transitions? So firstly, let's stick these well, actually, let's bring in one of the transitions. So with nothing selected, I don't really want to merge it at the moment. I'm just going to choose the loader, and I'm going to go and find one of those Art Beats items. Sorry, one of those Rampant Design items. There's Rampant Design. I've got loads of them. So let's look at... These are all the free stuff here, by the way. They're fantastic. So let's look for the matte transitions, which are here. So there's two sets. And let's just take the first one, which, as you can see, is a quick time movie, which is quite important. And you can actually get a preview if you give it a little while to load up. You get a preview over here, but you might not see a great deal. So I'm going to double click to use this 4K movie. So I can double click to actually bring it in. And then we can have a look at it. So once it's loaded, I'm going to stick it into viewer one. Now notice it is 4K. Okay. So it's a real 4K movie. And I'm going to be using it over 1920 by 1080. So just, just be aware that um, we can scale this if we need to, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's have a little look at it. So let's just uh, hit the space bar and we can play and have a little look. And I'll just stop it at that point. What you can see is that it is a movie with an alpha channel. So if we're going to use it to transition between the two, it's obviously going to use the alpha channel. And where it's got the alpha channel, you'll see one item through the other. But when it gets to pure white, that's the end of it. You're going to see one or the other when we pump it into the mask input. So I'm going to take the output from the Rampant Design matte transition, stick it into the mask input here, and then let's look at in item 2 here. So window 2, you can see there is a transition taking place. So if I go back to the beginning and I was to hit the play button again, you can see it transitions between the two beautifully. Really effective, does a super job. Now, to play with timings, all you need to do is go to the timeline and then decide where you want the transition to take place. So, for example, let's say I want it to take place at 100 frames. So, loader 2, I'm going to pull out to 100 frames. And then I take the matte transition also out to 100 frames. And then the transition is actually going to take place there. So as you can see from this point, if I was to hit the space bar, you can wait the four seconds it's going to take to play through. Four seconds going through, and then the transition's actually going to take place at this point. A little slow as it's processing the whole thing. So it's as simple as that. Now you can see, clearly, I'm not using all of the mat that we've got here. So what I can do is I can go back to the flow, and between the merge tool and the rampant design I can simply add in the transform tool. Here's the transform tool, and all I need to do with the transform tool is scale it down. As you can see, I can scale it down all the way. I can actually scale it completely off screen, but we can scale it down so we can get more of the actual look over the whole thing. So there we go, we scaled the whole thing down. We're going to get that same transition. Okay, and obviously you've got all the other things you can play with. But that's how you can use the transition. So the idea is you have got a standard merge node. You want a decent transition between the two. You go to Rampant Design. You download the transition that you want. You add it into the mask node. And then in the timeline, you set up your timing, making sure that the transition goes over the same frames as the beginning of the item that you are transitioning to. So you see item one and then item two with the rampant design transition at this point and then if you want to play with how it actually physically looks you can go in and add a transform node after the transition and before the merge node and then you can actually play with it however you like you can even obviously you can 
split it non-linearly if you wanted as well. Choice is entirely yours. So that's how you can use the very excellent rampant design transitions inside of Fusion. And if you want to see another one, you can select the loader. So if I choose the rampant design loader and I can go and quickly choose another one. So let's choose that one there. Give it a moment to load. And you can see we've got another one coming through here. Let's just go before and after. You can see again, this is what it is over here. You can see the transition taking place as it pulls through. Footer revealing the footage underneath. Once that's rendered through, it'll play a lot quicker next time. So let's just play it back again. Real time. Okay, so that's rampant design, matte transitions, and all the other types of transitions inside of Fusion. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching.